Welcome back to the Don's Daily Show. Brad Miller joined by Lakeisha Sutton, the junior guard from Trenton, New Jersey, in her third season already with the Gamecocks. Boy, time is flying. I can't believe it seems like you just got here. Lakeisha is the second leading scorer for the Gamecocks, leads the team in assists this year. What do you see as your role in the team now that you're an upperclassman? I think my role is to distribute the ball to my teammates, get everybody involved throughout the game, um, definitely to score and put points on the board, and at the same time, uh, be a defensive stopper for whoever the best players on the opposing team. What kind of goals did you set for yourself prior to the season, for yourself and the team, and have those changed as the season's gone on? Personally, I just wanted to get better this my junior year. I wanted to add something new to my game, and um, I think that would be distributing the ball more and uh, shooting a three-point shot confidently. And um, team goals, just have a better winning record than last year and just progress every day and just get better. Now, you're a very aggressive player uh, from day one here. As a freshman, you're the kind of player that's going to put the ball on the floor, go to the hole, even against much bigger opponents. Where did that come from, and do you ever get scared going against the bigger players? No, I think in high school and like growing up, I was always the one to go to the basket because I had five brothers. So I think that's where I get my toughness from. Just if I get it blocked, I get it blocked. I'm going to keep going until it go in the basket. When you were playing against your brothers, would you call a foul if they hit you? No, nah, they I, they wouldn't even give me a foul. They tell me to keep playing. <laughs> oh, you, so. you do. You'd have to keep playing. At least play to the whistle anyway. Well, let's talk a little bit off the court. I understand now you and your teammate Aisha Walker trying to teach yourselves to cook a little more. and Maybe off to a slow start. Tell us about that. Well, um, we eat a lot at the Russell House, or we'll go to like Wendy's or Sonic or places that's close by. And um, we was like, we need to just start cooking more. We need to go grocery shopping because we stay in Walmart, but we never buy food, food. So we pick up waffles and sausages and like bags of rice and just try to cook it, but it'll never come out right. But it's a slow progress. No kitchen fires yet, though. Freshman year. <laughs> Freshman year. No, but Jewel, Jewel's our roommate, and she cooks sometimes, so we just watch her and just try to copy you. Well, if there's any player I know on the team that enjoys music, I know that's you, especially when we're on the road and taking the bus to the arenas and you've got your headsets on. What do you listen to before the game? What gets you pumped up? Um, I listen to different, I, I listen to different kind of music, but um, I listen to All of the Lights, Kanye, Nicki Minaj, um, Eminem. Uh, surprisingly, I listen to a lot of love songs and R&B songs just to like soothe me down and get me thinking, but music uh, soothes me and it sometimes it motivates me. And I listen to a group called the 3Ks a lot too. So. Now, has that changed over the years in your three years much or has it changed depending on what team we're playing? I was just going to say that um, since, I, since I arrived here, I was always on my beats on or my headphones, just walking to class, practice after the games, but it's pretty much the same, just new music. I understand you're the dancer too. I've seen in some of the pregame introductions, you you know bust a little move when they introduce you to the home crowd. Uh, I heard recently though that you were trying to teach Coach Staley how to dance. How did that go? It, I think it went good, but she she wouldn't do it like us, and she's trying to learn how to duggy and do the the can't wang dance. So she got her own swag, but I told her she just need to be herself and just loosen up a little bit. Is she a better point guard or a better dancer? Better point guard. Well, that's probably. But she a good got man. rhythm though. She <laughs> she go like this, like she do her dance like that. But. Think we can get her to do it on the show for us one time? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll have to ask her next time. All right. What's your most memorable moment playing basketball, whether here at Carolina or somewhere else? Hmm. I think my most memorable moment was my senior year. We beat uh, Trent High School, and that's our rival school. Growing up um, as a little girl, we used to always look up the Trent High team, and I went to Trent Catholic, so it was a big, a big game. There's thousands of people there, and we won, and I was MVP. Outstanding. Well, you're a broadcast journalism major. What do you want to do after graduation? Um, I love sports, so I hope to, uh, if I'm not playing professionally or overseas, I hope to be around sports and um, interview athletes and see, you know, what motivates them and just analyze some games, sit courtside. Is there another sport other than basketball you'd like to cover? Mm -hmm. Just basketball. <laughs> just basketball. Well, maybe we can yeah. get you to sit in. Maybe when you graduate, we can get you to sit in with us. How about that? That sounds good. All right. We've already got, we've already got a future co-host here for us. <laughs> uh, one last thing. What would be something that most folks would be surprised to know about Lakeisha Sutton that maybe they don't know? <laughs> um, besides the fact that I'm really shy, um, I love Harry Potter, and unfortunately there's no more books to read, but growing up I read every book in like a day or two. You read all the books, you've seen all the movies too? Mm -hmm. What's better, the books Well, all the movies didn't come out yet. We're still waiting for a part two of the last book, but I like the books better because you I formulate my own opinions and um, characters and stuff, but the movies are good too. And you've read them more than once? Yes. That's impressive. Well, that's Lakeisha <laughs> Sutton, thanks for joining us. Thank you.
third beer guard for the Gamecocks. We'll have more of the Dawn's Daily Show coming up next.